What's up you guys, it's Jason from RPM and today we're going to be taking a look at a new product from RPM. It's our brushless intercooler fans for the RR models. If you've got an RR and you're looking to do an upgrade or if you've got a 120 and you're trying to do a 205 upgrade kit or any of that, this is the new RPM intercooler shroud and brushless fan. So this is the factory one. This is kind of what you're working with before we've assembled it. And I, I kind of wanted to show you a couple things that make our stand out better than anyone's and of course way better than the OEM ones. The first thing is the brushless motor. We're going to be able to spin it faster using less energy. It lasts longer and we can just simply flow more air from the fact that it is a brushless motor. There's also a couple other things that we're going to kind of show you that make ours a little bit better also. But the main thing is the brushless motor. And the other thing I want to show you is how we seal the shroud to the intercooler. I think that's one thing that's always bothered me on the Can-Am X3 is that it wasn't a sealed unit. I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm talking about here. We're gonna drop this uh, factory shroud, ignore this side where it's broke, on the intercooler. And the problem is down here. Now this fan is attempting to draw air from the top of the intercooler through it. And air is gonna take the path of least resistance. So, call me crazy, this is how the factory one mounts. And that's nearly a one inch gap all the way around your intercooler that air can suck through instead of through the intercooler core. And it just drove me nuts. And, and on my personal cars, I'd always sealed them off and made it a sealed unit so it truly was pulling all of the air through the intercooler. You were kind of always stuck with the proprietary OEM one because the shroud also acts as the mounting point. So these holes right here is how it mounts to the uh, plastic bed or the chassis of the car. And I just, God, it always drove me nuts. So we, we made our own shroud. We got our own brushless fans now. We're going to be putting these fans on radiators, the Maverick R intercoolers, Maverick R radiators. We're going to use them on a ton of things. Now that we have a, a fan, we're going to use that fan and that motor for uh, other items. So first one's the Canon MX3, the RR models and 120 kit. So I just kind of wanted to show you why I don't like the factory one. So now we're going to jump over to the uh, RPM one here and we're going to take a look at a few things. So this is an RPM intercooler. This is one of our big core intercoolers for the RR models. And this is the fan on how you receive it. When you receive it, there's only one bolt holding the fan to the shroud and that's just to secure it during shipment. And we're going to supply you with all of the needed hardware. So we've got some low profile button head Allens that are going to secure from the bottom upward from the fan, that way it's nice and safe and away from the bar and plate construction of the intercooler. You don't have to worry about any bolts hitting the intercooler or something crazy like that because we, we have kind of made this a whole low profile unit. We wanted to seal it all the way up. And how we seal it up is we supply you with this uh, EPDM foam and we're essentially gonna align the outside of this intercooler with foam and then press the shroud against the foam. It will create a seal all the way around and the only way it can draw air is through the bar and plate of the intercooler or finish or however you got for it for intercooler. But essentially we wanted to seal around it. So there's no way air can get past except for through the intercooler. That's, that's what we're going for. We just want the air to come through the intercooler and we don't want it to come through the sides. That's what we're getting at here. So you can pick them up at rpmsxs.com. If you want to see instructions, stay tuned because the rest of the video is going to be us throwing this fan and shroud on this intercooler and then from there it installs just like the factory one. It's super easy, it's only four bolts and then you've got your uh, charge tubes. It's really that easy, so here we go. All right guys, now to install all the hardware, the fan, the shroud to this intercooler, we're gonna start with the foam. The one thing I think is real important that you know is that this is 3M double-sided adhesion and the shroud actually keeps pressure on it regardless. But one of the important things is that you're in a warm environment when you install this. The 3M tape is actually heat activated. It doesn't need to be hot, it just can't be, you know, like 12 degrees outside where you're trying to install this, it won't work that well. So it needs to be warm. What I like to do is just get like a torch and I just kind of heat up the metal, uh, put this on there and then it'll adhere and stay adhered. It's really strong stuff. So what I'm gonna show you is how we, we do it, but essentially we go along this top bar right here because we don't want to be on the, sh the uh, fins and then we go on the inside right here, the inside of the weld and then the outside and the inside. So the inside will actually stack them like this. So the inside pieces are kind of like link and log together and we'll go like that, so on and so forth. We'll get these warmed up real fast. I'm gonna put a torch on this, warm up the metal and then we'll stick them on and then we'll move on to the hardware of the fan shroud. All right guys, so you've got your two pieces of foam right here running on the inside, 
now it's time to run them across. They may feel a little bit short, but this, as you install it, they actually stretch a little bit. You can always tell by the glue right there. So once you remove this, it'll kind of release the tension. You'll be able to you know, get this in place and then we'll cut the excess film when we're done. All right guys, so you've got the film on the intercooler. You're gonna mount the fan to the shroud using the supplied hardware. And then eventually we're gonna mount the shroud to the intercooler with the supplied hardware. The first thing I wanna note is that these button head Allens, they come up from the bottom and then the 10 mil nut goes on the top. Once you go to mount it, one thing to remember is that there's an eight and a half inch spacing right here. These aren't symmetrical. The, the intercooler is symmetrical, so it doesn't matter which is front and back but the shroud itself is not symmetrical. I don't know why KM did it that way, but they're actually about a quarter of an inch off. This is an eight and a half inch spacing from eye to eye. And on this side, it's a, about an eight and an eighth spacing from eye to eye. And you want the exit of the wiring to face the back of the car. We give you plenty of length to reach the factory plug, but just to be safe, you do want it to, you know, face to back and make it a little bit easier for you to grab everything and plug it in and then push your uh, wire, your excess wire out of the way. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna install the Allen bolts upward into the fan and mount the fan to the shroud. All right, guys, you got your fan mounted to your shroud. It's time to mount the assembly to the intercooler. Remember, wiring to the back, eight and a half inch gap is the back. So yeah, everything kind of flows to the back. When you go to mount it in the car, that's super important because it'll drop in both ways, but the bolt holes won't line up. So this faces the exhaust. So this will be behind you or however you want to think about that. But this is to the back. Doesn't matter how you mount it on the intercooler, but it matters how you install it. So this is everything kind of going on. We're just gonna get it situated so that the holes all line up. We're gonna grab the supplied Loctite. We're gonna throw it on these bolts. Just a little drop on each one, nothing too crazy. We're just gonna hand tighten them for now, to get them started. All right guys, now it's time to use the supplied wire loom clamp and we are gonna secure it to the wire loom. I like to pull a little slack here so everything's got some slack on it. Slide this around the wiring, make sure it's all nice. And not going to get pinched. Give it a little squeeze. Now it's time to drop this bolt through there. You want to make sure that you've got enough slack here. And then one thing I like to show guys is that when you tighten this, this thing will try to spin with the uh, nut. So I try to like kind of preload it this direction a little bit, but uh, it's pretty simple. So we'll go ahead and start tightening these all down. All right, guys, there you have it. You've got your brushless RPM intercooler fan installed to an intercooler and it's time to drop it in the car and as far as that goes You can drop it in however yours is set up There's a lot of different variations on how these intercoolers go into the car But I always tell guys just follow the OEM manual this thing fits just like the stock one uh -huh.